Hey y'all, welcome to Avery's Apron. My name is Avery and today I'm gonna be showing you how I make this super delicious semi-homemade strawberry layer cake. We are gonna be making a whipped strawberry cream cheese frosting to go on it and it is gonna be so, so delicious. I'm super excited to share and we are gonna get right into it. All right, so before I start explaining everything, you can find all of my ingredients, measurements, recipe instructions, down in the description box below when you are ready to give this recipe a try, okay? But like I said at the beginning, this is a semi-homemade cake, right? So we are gonna be using a classic white cake mix for this, and then we are just gonna add a couple extra ingredients to doctor it up a little, okay? So we're using some all-purpose flour, sugar, a couple eggs, oil, milk, and I'm going in with these freshly diced strawberries, okay? This is about half a cup of fresh diced strawberries. You can puree them if you want, but um, since I'm using a hand mixer, I just dice them up because the hand mixer is really going to kind of break them down as I mix this together, okay? So, it's super easy. You just throw everything in the bowl and start blending, all right? And we're going to blend this for about three minutes until it's nice and creamy like so. You see how those strawberries have broken down really well? We're good to go, okay? And now that everything is nice and smooth, we're going to go ahead and divide this batter up between three cake pans, okay? I've got nine inch round cake pans that I'm using today, and I've gone ahead and sprayed them with a little bit of Baker's Joy cooking spray just so that my layers don't stick. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm just dividing this batter up. I'm not going to measure, okay? I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, if you want to make sure that your layers come out uh, perfectly even in the same size then by all means grab a measuring cup and go at it okay but um, this was for my family so I wasn't too pressed about it being precise or anything it was just a quick little cake for my little brother's birthday actually um, but yeah I divided it up and now I'm just kind of giving them a tap on the counter to kind of release some of those air bubbles and this is gonna go in a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes and after 25 minutes, here they are, beautiful, golden brown, delicious. We're gonna cool these and make our frosting in the meantime, okay? All right, and for my frosting, I'm actually using one stick of unsalted butter as well as an eight ounce block of cream cheese. These are room temperature, so they are nice and soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixer on about a medium speed. I'm just gonna whip this together until everything is nice and fluffy and light, okay? Once it's nice and light, I'm gonna actually go in with the other half of my fresh strawberries and continue to beat this together until it's even more fluffy and those strawberries um, have started to really break down. And as our strawberries break down, they give our frosting a really, really nice light pink hue. Um, but if you'd like your frosting to be darker, then by all means, you can totally add a couple drops of red food coloring. Um, but I like the light pink color that it was giving, so I left it like it was. But like I said, if you want it to be darker, you can totally go in with a couple drops of red food coloring. So at this point, our mixture is looking fantastic. Um, I've gone ahead and scraped down the sides of my bowl, and it is time to start beating in our powdered sugar, okay? So I'm beating in two cups of sugar at a time until all the sugar has been added. Um, and just to keep down on the mess, okay? We don't want a big old sugar cloud going on in the kitchen. Um, but yes, uh, be sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl as well as the bottom of your bowl, just to make sure that everything is getting nice and well combined.
Okay, so now that our final cup of um, sugar is just about combined, I'm actually gonna go in with a splash of vanilla extract and a splash of strawberry extract, okay? Now we've already got the strawberry flavor going on from the fresh strawberries in our frosting, but we really just wanna kind of enhance that and help it out a little bit, okay? So adding this just really drives that strawberry flavor home, all right? It's really, really good, trust me. But um, after everything is well combined, we're gonna go ahead and scrape the bowl down and we're gonna start folding folding in our Cool Whip, okay? I did use this whole container of Cool Whip, um, and I folded in half of the container at a time, okay? So this is about half the container, and I'm folding it in gently. You don't wanna mix this too hard because you don't wanna mess up that whipped texture of the Cool Whip, okay? You want it to stay nice and light and fluffy, so we're just folding it in gently, all right? And after the first half is folded in, we are gonna go in with the second half and fold that in as well. And after everything was folded well together, I went ahead and gave it a taste for quality control, of course, okay? And then I actually popped it into the fridge to chill until my cake layers were completely cooled, okay? You don't wanna frost a warm cake. If you do, the frosting will melt, the cake layers will slide, it'll be a whole mess, and you just don't want that, okay? After all this hard work, you don't wanna do that, okay? So be sure to chill your frosting and cool your cake layers. Um, I did both of those things, and after about an hour, I was ready to frost my cake okay so I put a layer of cake down I put a generous heap of that frosting and I spread it out evenly and then I just repeated that until my cake was frosted I am just gonna go ahead and put this out there. You guys are gonna notice as I'm building this cake that my cake was slightly lopsided, okay? <laughs> uh, but it was totally fine. Like I said, this was for my family, so it wasn't that big of a deal, and it still came out really pretty in the end, but this is the downside um, to not measuring your batter, okay? Like I said before, your cake layers come out slightly uneven, and then it does make it harder to build your cake and frost it, um, but since it was for my family, they were okay with it. If I were making this for anyone, I definitely would have measured the layers. Um, but yeah, it's totally fine. Just make do with what you've got, okay? I just did the best that I could and it still came out really great. y'all we are in the home stretch with this cake um one thing i do want to mention before i go is that this cake does have to be stored in the fridge okay um, because of all the fresh ingredients in it it just keeps best that way okay um leaving it out on the counter can cause it to go bad rather quickly so store it in the fridge okay um but yeah that is just about it for today's recipe. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little um, cake frosting segment. I don't know if it's just me, but something about frosting a cake is just so relaxing, okay? Both doing it and watching it. It's just really satisfying. But yes, you guys, that is it for today's recipe. I really, really hope you give it a try. It is literally the perfect summertime dessert, okay? It'll be such a crowd pleaser if you choose to give it a try, okay? But 
Um, don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And stay tuned to the end because my little brother is going to tell you guys how he felt about the cake. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Okay, Steven's giving it a try for us. How is it? It's good? Yeah. How's the frosting? I like it. What it's kind a, of frosting? It's a cream cheese, but I whipped some Cool Whip in it to make it light. Oh. I just taste it. Oh, good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, scale one to ten. Ten. <laughs> okay. <laughs>